Okay, hey, welcome back. Um, this is going to be number four in a series of tutorials. Um, and this tutorial is going to be about using the zoom and the pan button on your mouse to help you navigate around your drawing. All right, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to start with a sample drawing that comes with um, most AutoCAD softwares. And uh, it's a good drawing to start with because um, it's a nice large drawing that's kind of fun to zoom and pan around. So let's go there. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you come up to the big A in the application menu and we're going to actually go to open drawing because we're opening an existing drawing. All right. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to navigate if you want to start all the way at the very beginning with the your hard drive which is the C drive uh, you're gonna come down to program files you wanna make sure when you double click you double click right on the folder uh, I'm gonna double click on Autodesk and whatever version of AutoCAD you're using I'm using 2012 so I'm gonna double click on that and then we're gonna come down to a folder that's called sample this has sample drawings in it. Uh, these all load when you actually download the software. This, these sample drawings come with it. Um, and underneath a folder called Database Connectivity, there's this fun sample drawing called dbsamp.dwg. So let's just pick that and pick Open. And uh, I get a warning here that it's a read-only file. Um, and that's okay because we're just going to look at it. So let's just pick yes. All right, so here we have what looks like um, an example of an architectural drawing that is a looks like an office floor plan. Okay, and this type of drawing um, is a good example of being able to use the mouse to navigate around the drawing. Okay. So, if you had to work on a specific area of the drawing, um, you would want to zoom in. And the, by far, the easiest way to zoom in is to use your mouse. All right, so now wherever you put your cursor tends to be the area that it will zoom around. So I'm going to put my cursor over here near this office, and I'm going to actually just roll the mouse wheel away from me and as I roll the mouse wheel away from me you can see I'm zooming right in on this chair. Um, now if I roll the mouse wheel towards me the drawing gets smaller and smaller. Now again if I put my cursor down here uh, it tries to zoom near the cursor is what I'm trying to show you. So you just kinda roll your mouse wheel back and forth. Okay, now um, the next most popular thing you're going to want to be able to do with your mouse after you zoom in is to be able to pan the drawing. And um, to pan the drawing is just really to kind of shift the drawing um, around the view. So if you push on your mouse wheel like it's a button, uh, you notice a little hand comes up where your cursor was and I am holding this button down and this is the mouse wheel button I'm holding it down and I'm moving the drawing back and forth okay so you can see it's really a quick way to uh, pan your drawing into the view where you want it so in combination with zoom and pan and zoom and pan, we can easily navigate to exactly where we want to go. Okay. Uh, the last fun thing that your mouse wheel does as far as uh, zooming is you can double click the mouse wheel and that does a command called zoom extents. And uh, actually down here on the command line you can see it executed zoom 
E for extents. It actually executed that command. Uh, a zoom extents will take the extents of everything that you've drawn and make it fit in your um, drawing screen so that you can see the whole drawing. So even if you have something that's way in outer space, uh, if you do a zoom extents, it will incorporate it all into your view. Okay, that's a good way actually to find out if you have accidentally put something in outer space. Um, there are zoom commands up here on your zoom toolbar. Uh, the zoom with the minus, the zoom with the plus, pretty obvious what they do. Zoom all, which I usually use at the beginning of a drawing. Here is zoom extents. Okay, there's a couple of others. There's zoom window, uh, zoom dynamic, zoom center. Really, to be honest, I tend to use the mouse uh, because it's quicker than coming up to most of these buttons. All right, I do like the zoom all button. Uh, sometimes I come up here because I forget to double click the mouse, which does the same thing. Uh, but Anyway, if you get used to using the mouse for most of this, that's going to be your fastest way to get in and around your drawing. So I hope that helps. Um, also, once you get comfortable with it, you'll find that you don't need scroll bars, which sometimes show up on the sides here. And uh, you don't need those, so you can add more real estate to your screen space by just using Zoom and Pan. Alrighty, well try that out, give that a practice, and good luck until the next tutorial.